absolutely, especially for high value terms. And I mean, I feel like most business owners or people that are close to the specific dealership, they know what some of the most commonly asked questions are. And we can also see that in search data. And I would, you know, really uh, argue not to be tempted to go after the real high search volume ones, but to go after the ones that maybe have little to no search volume that are super long tail and specific. Those do extremely well at converting to sales, especially if no one's answering that question or no one's answering it well. It's a huge opportunity for you to take over some of that traffic. And that's why you have to see what Google's providing in search results. And it's so funny because so many people do this research, they know about SEO, they work really hard, and they never look at the actual search result, which drives me insane. Because if you create a piece of content and you don't have any images in that piece of content, it could be the best piece in the world on, let's say, you know, like Halloween costumes, something that's super visual, and all Google wants to provide is visual content, you're never gonna rank you have to have the medium in which people are seeking. And Google sees that. And they're gonna reward content providers that have that to satisfy the need, right? So they're going to figure that stuff out. Um, yeah, super interesting to keep an eye on what's happening in search, search results and also to read the content. If you're trying hard to rank for a particular term, read everything on page one and make something so much better, right? Take what's currently you know, a common theme or that people mention, make sure you have that included, but make it better and you have way higher odds of ranking.